Well, Thursday is Earth Day, and all this week right here on News 8, our weather team will bring you some stories on what's being done to protect the environment and how you can help. News 8's Sean Stiles kicks it off today live from La Jolla Cove, where he's talking about sea lions. Sean, they, they've been in the news a lot over the years. What's going on with them these days? Well, we are doing just fine down here. You know, uh, San Diego has got two populations of seals and sea lions over my shoulder here. Now, all week long, we're going to be talking to you about the environment. Carlene, Evan, and Netta, along with myself. Today, I'm going to be talking about sea lions up in San Francisco. And the population of sea lions in San Francisco is tremendous up there at Pier 39. Uh, the one problem that they're having is that those sea lions seem to be getting very, very sick. And part of that reason is because of a DDT dump that took place in the 70s. They are finding themselves 25% of the sick sea lions coming up on the wharf there in and in around Northern California are showing up with a deadly cancer that's being transmitted sexually to the sea lions. Now, one person is doing some research on that, a Dr. Elisa Deming, and here's what she had to say about the sea lions. It's like the last place you want a bunch of contaminants to be is in your nursery, and the Channel Islands is that, that place. And so another story that will be coming up is Carlene. Now, she's doing a story on redwoods and the possible loss of them as far as what's being done to keep them alive. A lot of deforestation, the population in the forest is a fraction of what it was, say, 100 years ago. Her story takes you there. It was one of her, well, as they say, bucket list things to do to go to the Redwoods. She did that last year, and she put together a great story on that. So that will be coming up later on in the week. My sea lion story will be coming up in the 6 o'clock show and it will talk about the sea lions and how they're ha dealing with that problem in and around central and northern California and the good that is coming out of that bad. They're actually discovering that by treating the and researching these seals that it might actually help humans survive this cancer. And Sean, we do want to ask you about that particular type of cancer that you just mentioned. Is it affecting the sea lions right here in Southern California as well as all of our neighbors to the north? Well, it's mainly the central and northern California seals because it's going to the breeding grounds in and around the Channel Islands. That's where that DDT dump was. And our seals here do most of their breeding in and around Southern California. The rookeries are at San Clemente Island as well as here in San Diego and Southern California. So there is some of that problem down here, but not nearly the type of problems that they have in central and northern California. Heather? Sean Stiles reporting live from La Jolla. We look forward to more on that and all those Earth Week stories from our News 8 weather team. Thanks, Sean.